Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make my version of Princess Peach from the Mario Brothers. So uh, it's a little bit of fiddly um, fiddling to do, but uh, we, we will get her done, no problem at all. One of the things that you will be making by yourself is the little standing skirt. And what I've done is I've done the first three rows in the darker pink and then you're going to do the rest so the next 13 rows or layers in the lighter pink okay and as you can see I've got one here that I've done and I'm waiting at this particular point so I've done my last my last uh, row which is 16 in total and uh, when we get to this point I will pick this up and show you how to add these little poofy sides to the skirt as they're part of the actual skirt and this is one that you take her in and out of it is uh, a detachable standing skirt so she can oops if we angle her right so that she can stand she can stand up you're going to need the colors you're going to need you're going to need a couple of gold bands I think it's about three uh, gold bands you're going to need one two three four five blue bands um, a red band I'm using yellow for her hair skin tone I've got a darker pink and a lighter pink and then I've got white for her gloves and also I've done white for her uh, shoes as well all right so they they are the colors that we're going to need I'm going to put this loom to one side we will get back to that when we're ready our first thing is going to be doing Princess Peach's hair. We are doing hair at the back of the head, which is a crafty ladybug technique. Um, I absolutely love this technique. Please check out her channel if you haven't done already. Um, our loom, single loom, it's going to be in the offset configuration. Columns one and three are going to be slightly lower then column two, the arrow is facing towards you or the open part of the peg. And I should mention as well, I'm using the four by seven millimeter mini pony beads for her eyes If you, in white. If you don't have those, you can use bands. That's, that's fine as well. Double banding, you're taking two bands and you're going to place them over the pegs together as if they were one. So we'll do the layout of her hair, the back of her hair first. Now, um, as I said, I, I think this is the best techniques in sliced bread. And on any of my dolls that I've made, my little figures that don't have this, feel free to add. Um, I had one lady say to me, I, I did Rapunzel, your Rapunzel, but I did the technique that you did on uh, whatever it was. And I'm so, so pleased because, yes, that's exactly what you should be doing. It makes them look so much better pop these two here all right now we're going to put a single across here and here as a crossover before we put our next crossover here though i need to add these bits for her the the, the back of her hair the um well the back of her hair it's not a ponytail is it um so what i'm going to do i'll take that off i was faffing around there single band yellow Wrap it once and twice, and we're going to do one, slide it onto a pair of bands, so that's our first pair, second pair, and third pair, fourth pair, and fifth pair now the fifth one is going you'll have it either side so it'll be closest to the center peg the next one that you're doing again single band wrap it once and twice as your end cap now we're, we're going to slide on four pairs so here's our first one one two three and four and then the next one will be three pairs wrap your single once and twice here's our 
first pair. One, two, and three. So it's going to be sitting like that. So five, four, three, or if you're going this way, five, four, three. All right. You can lift these bands off if that's if that makes it easier for you. Okay. And slide these all on. Like that. Make sure that the long one is going to be I'll move this around. I'll put the long one here. Like this. And the short little braid goes this side. Like that. You're going to do the same for the other side. Okay. Single, wrap it once and twice. We'll do our th short one first. One, two, and three. Now we'll do a four. Single, wrap it once and twice. Now four pair. One, two, three and four. Now we'll do number five. So this is single band once and twice and five pair. So one. And you don't need to leave these on your hook. You can take them off if you need to. Two. Three, and five. Oops, let's get that one off. We don't want take your pair of bands, you can slide them on. Again, the long one needs to be closest to the centre peg. So we have those on here. Spread them out so that they are sort of sitting at the bottom of the, uh, the uh, loom. Single band, stretch it out. That's going to go here. Two yellow at the back of the neck here and you're going to take a dark pink wrap it once and twice and that will sit here because she, we don't really see her neck we sort of it's all um, the high collar of the um, of her little dress so we're going to have that there now she also has some fluffy bits on the front of her hair here so at this stage here, we're going to do an end cap sitting on one piece. So take a single, wrap it once and twice, and then you take one pair. Okay, now if you have a look where we do her face, which will be here, it's going to sit here either side, all right? So that's where we're going to put this little piece of hair on either side. And what we're going to do for that is just pop it on the end like that. We're not we're not linking it up or anything at this stage. Another single, wrap it once and twice, and again, pop it onto a pair and sit it the other side. Once we have the skin tone bands on, we'll flip these over when we do our looping up. Now what we can do at this point is push past that pink end cap and grab those two yellow bands, keep that end cap in place with your finger and loop up. You're now going for the top two crossover bands and, I'm sorry, not crossover bands, top two bands and link them to their corresponding side. All right, so in my case, I did the right first and then the left and I did I did those bands one at a time. It really doesn't matter if you loop them both at the same time 
or one at one at a time. Dig down, find those two and loop up and loop up. Push these down, they need to be pushed down. You're digging down here to find those two bottom yellow bands and looping up. And the same on this side and looping up. At this point we're going to do a little crown. So we're going to take our first blue and wrap it once, twice, three times. Then we'll take a red and wrap it once, twice and three times and then a glue. Once, twice and three times. Slide these onto a yellow. Do the blue first and then the red. Come on. Get off. So there's one blue. Now do the red. And then do the other blue. Like that. And that goes from one side here to the other. Like that. We have to do... Um, little bangs okay so what we're going to do for the bangs is take a single wrap it once and twice we're going to take four bands four yellow bands and slide this on we're going to split these four yellow bands into two each side and marry them up with the correct ones on the other side okay take a single band go through your two loops here on the one side, single band, drag it through and reclaim and that will sit on one side here. Then get your other two loops from the other side. There we go. Take your single band, drag it through, reclaim and that's going to sit on the other side. I just need to turn my loom just here all right and they are going to be the bangs that sit at the front of her head all right so we'll keep those in place now if you're a bit scared that these are going to go walk about just poke your hook through grab the other end and you can just let those now I'm just going to make sure that's not twisted there we go sit those up on top here just in a holding spot until we're actually ready to use them but we mustn't forget about them and then we'll flip them back over here so let's lay some bands now for the skin for the for the face to flesh tone and we're going to start here so we skip these this first one here and we go from the second peg to the third push things down and we do another two here, another two on the right, and another two on the left. The side of the jaw, so from the centre to the right, from the centre to the left. Now when you do use bands for the back of the hair it does get crowded I'm not going to lie to you and say it's not crowded it is crowded but you can push things down and it is worth it I think at the end I think the, the figure looks much better okay I just want to make sure that I'm not twisting these there we go that's better a single band we're going to stretch it across like that as a cross as a crossover band okay then we're going to take a single band and we're going to twist it once, twice and three times and pop across these two pegs here. They're for the eyes. As I mentioned, the eyes, I'm going to use the um, white beads. You don't have to use white beads. You can use white bands. All you do, a single band wrapped once, twice and three times and then do the same again. Once, twice, three times. That is the same as two beads and you would slide these onto a skin tone band that, that's exactly the same it's going to have the same result okay so if you don't have beads don't panic you can still do it with bands the other thing that we want to do is place some little earrings on the side of her face she has these little blue earrings so taking a single blue band wrap it on your hook once twice and three whoops three times and we're going to take a single band okay stretch it 
figure eight, loop it on itself, and you're going to slide that blue band on. Okay, reclaim the end, all right, and we're going to pop that onto this this band here. But let me, I'll remove the uh, the band that I just had there twisted. What I'm going to do is I need to lift this up, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Grab the little band that I have for the earring and slide that on like that and keep it there. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Now, if you don't like how that's going to look, if you feel that it's it's drawn it in too much, the trick to that is you can just do it to one band and leave the other one as it is. So for example, let's put this back on my hook. Have I got both sides? No, I don't. So you would just grab the say so the top band, alright, and drag that through and pop that back on. And then you still have the other band that is fully you know it's not compromised or being squeezed so let's do that again take a single wrap it once twice three times take a single skin tone figure eight loop it on itself slide your little oh look at that there we go capture that back again slide your blue band on reclaim take the top only and we'll slide that little skin tone band that we looped onto it. Push it down a bit. And a bit more. <laughs> there we go. So these are going to be her earrings that will stick out. We'll put that band back that we had here. We're going to twist it once, twice, three times. Put that back there. And we're going to put our eyes on next. So it's a little bit crowded. I'm using my beads, but you can use bands. Slide them onto your skin tone band. Stretch across. One either side. And then using your hook, take the top part of that band and just loop it above this peg here. It's very busy, I know. All right, we're going to take two bands. Uh, I'm sorry, we're taking two pink bands next. Of the darker pink. And we're going to put those here for her neck. All right. Now, before we go further, we need to take this bottom dark pink pair of, well, it's not a pair of bands, it's a single band that you've looped over itself. You're gonna stretch it out, up and over so it sits on top of those two new pink bands that we just placed there, okay? That's important. All right, let's do we're down here to her, her bodice and what she has underneath. I'm using the light pink and I'm going to use two here for the shoulders and two here. And we're going to come down one pair. These are not terribly nice bands so it's probably good that I'm using them up. <laughs> two pair three pair. These were just ones that I got at Target. Four pair. They're a nice colour. I like the pink. And uh, they're sort of very similar pink to the pink that's in the Rainbow Loom skin tone. But again, I didn't have to buy a packet and then sit there for hours sifting through all the different colours. So one, two, and three.
I'm going to put a pair of white on these last pegs here. And come down one more pair here and we'll do a pair from the center to the right from the center to the left we're going to put an end cap here so a single wrap it once and twice pop that there we're going to have a crossover now I'm doing another single band crossover up here. For these two in the middle, we're going to take a single, stretch it, figure eight, loop it on itself. And that brings in the waist so it looks smaller. So we'll do that. We're going to do her, her uh, boots. Take two white bands, wrap once and twice and we will slide on to a pair of white bands. Don't reclaim, just push it down a little bit. We're gonna take another two, wrap once and twice, and pop these two back on to reclaim. And then using another two, we'll slide all of these on. Now I like to do the two bands first, then the band that I wrapped, and then the last two. Reclaim, angle, and position. Do the same on the other side. So two bands, wrap once and twice. We'll slide onto two bands, but we're not going to reclaim. Push it up. Take another two, wrap once and twice. Reclaim. And now we slide onto two. So here's our first two loops, our wrapped loops. And then our second, reclaim, angle the boot, and pop on the end right here, like that. Now, for the arms, we're going to do things a little bit differently. I've made one here. So take a single, wrap it around once and twice. You're going to slide onto three pair. So there's our first pair. Here's our second pair. Here's our third pair, and they're all white. We're going to do a pair of skin tone. And then we use our light pink. And what we're going to do, take this off for a second. We're doing her puffy sleeve, so just put that down one second. You're going to take two bands, wrap once and twice. You're going to put the first loop of her arm on like that. Take another two bands, wrap once and twice, put those back on. Take another two bands, wrap once and twice. Okay, so it's like this. Take two bands, pop on the end of your hook, slide these ones over. Get over there, push it up a bit, slide the two bands for the arm over, then the next two wrapped ones. Next two for the arm, and those two. Now, before we reclaim this, hold that in this hand here and grab another two bands. And on the end of your hook, wrap once and twice. Now reclaim, so it looks like that. Two bands, and we'll slide all of this on. So there's our first pair of loops. Here's our wrapped one. And there's our second pair, all right here, like that. Reclaim, and it sort of gives you this little rounded, if you stretch it out a little bit sort of got this little rounded puffy sleeve and we will pop that on the end of her arm and if you could do another one I already have one done here so if you do the other one pause me if you need to let's put this one right here like so 
Okay, um, I'm ready to start looping up my little... Ah, not quite. Sorry, I knew I was forgetting something. She has the little emblem in her chest here. So what we're going to do, it's blue in the middle and then yellow either side. So I'm going to take a yellow band, wrap it around once, hold, or you could just hold it or let it go. Take your blue, wrap once, twice, three times. Take the yellow and you're going to wrap it around the other side of the blue. Okay, once and twice. So it's going to look like that. Now, it's it's tricky, I know, to have it so that you don't see this crisscross at the back, but we're going to tweak it so that we can get that looking good. You're going to take a single band, and it's tricky to slide these over, but we're, we're going to manage. Take the two little yellow loops first, and slide those onto the pink band. Then you're going to slide your blue and then your yellow follows. Move it into the middle and we're going to pop that across her chest here. So there's the arms, you're going down one from the arm. Okay, just like that. So let's see, we have earrings, we have eyes, we have the uh, little thing. This, I'm not sh certain whether I really want I suppose we could put it on as we, when we get to loop it at the top here, we'll, we'll add the crown rather than putting it on after the fact. Let's start looping her up. Dig down and grab the two bottom white bands and we loop those up. And we loop up. Now, these centre ones, we're going to loop these next. Loop to the side and then find the other two. And loop those to their side and you can loop the middle up. Now we can loop the rest of the legs. These get hidden behind the skirt anyway but uh, I still like it to have some sort of continuity to it otherwise I feel it looks a bit odd. So loop this up. Okay, so I'm at this point here. I'm going to dig down, grab these two, loop up. I'm not too worried about these little colours because I will pop those through after the fact. You're grabbing the bottom and linking up to where the shoulders are. Do the shoulders first. So dig down, grab the two bands, loop to the neck. Loop to the neck. And then we will loop these ones up to the neck. Okay. Now we're going to dig down and find those bottom two dark pink bands and loop up. This is where we have some of our fun. Take the top two skin tone and loop to the corresponding side. And the next two. If you do it one at a time, that's okay too. It's better to be slow and steady and get it right. <laughs> Okay, so the next two skin tone go up the center here. And this is easier to see because we haven't used skin tone for um, the neck. We have the dark pink. Now push the crossover band back. You're just going for those two top skin tone bands. As I mentioned, you can do them one at a time. It really doesn't matter. That will pop out two top skin tone and loop up. I try and make sure that they're not too twisted on themselves, especially on the face. I think if you have these twisted bands on the face, it looks really rough. Okay, now this is where we mustn't forget to undo our little side bits here, our little fluffy side bits. You're going to take that off and you will place that on the peg here. And now dig down and find those bottom two yellow bands and loop up. Okay, same this side. Take it off. Push it back onto the peg there. 
dig down to find the bottom two yellow bands and loop up again I have them twisted I'm going to try and untwist just so it looks a bit better like so for the center I want the center bit of the hair to go under these I don't want so I'm going to lift those and just pop them above there for a second I'm going to loop this up okay and then I'm going to link this back down so that it sits on top of that part now if we want to do the crown we're going to take a single band the, this is a gold one a single gold wrap it once twice and three times and we're sliding onto a pair of gold okay now what we're going to do we want it to be on the top of her head okay so I'm trying to think of what the best way to do this I have actually added it after the fact when I've done this dig down grab the two bottom yellow bands and what you can do uh, if we want to do it now and not after the fact let go for a second put your gold bands on your hook and you're just going to slide on like this okay so that's sitting on that loop like this and again you can just dig down grab the two yellow bands take them off and hold them put your hook through and again you just move the yellow bands through the gold come here you like so and attach all right so that that would then sit on top of her head we're going to use two yellow bands dig down through all of those bands and out the side here drag it back and to the top of her head on top of that uh, pin here one over the other and pull tight in a slip knot let's take this off our loom I use the back of a metal hook to help me there's lots of bands on and you don't want band breakage now just check on the back here that things don't get stuck ease things off now I have to say it's easier on the bodice because there's not so many bands but again if you're worried just gently ease her off stretch her into shape a little bit here now as you can see the um, emblem has moved to one side so it almost looks like she's a superhero <laughs> that's okay we can move it back to sit in here so go through those two pink grab that's not an emblem is it it's a uh, a brooch of some sort My daughter would know. I don't know. I haven't played Mario for years. So there we go. We stick that through her chest so that it's a little bit more visible. I tend to use the arms. I pull them up and then down, up and then down. Now, the bangs are to come forward. And I know that these are part of the crown, but I just felt that they they just look too bad when you actually have them in the crown. It makes the crown so uh, so weighty. So I just have them in front of the gold part, like that. Okay, and uh, have the hair like this. Pull things out so that her hair looks correct these are her earrings sitting out on the side here like that 
Now, if you want the hair to be a bit controlled at the back here so that it's not uh, all over the place like this, you're going to need a couple of bands. Now, the way I did it, I went through the um, end cap of the smallest one and I went through and recapture it. Actually, I'll do it, capture it the other way so that it comes through. Now, line them up together and you're going to go through this first pair. So not the end cap, but the first pair. Drag that yellow band through it. And then if you look at the deep, the uh, longer one, you're going through the second pair of bands from the bottom. So you've got your end cap, there's your first pair, this is your second. So drag that through like so. And, and there you have it on the end here. Now you can just pop it around there for, for the time being just to keep it secure. Again, go through your end cap with your second yellow band, one over the other. Then we're going through the first pair of loops and then find your second pair of loops, drag it through. Now let's grab the other end of that one again like so. So you have these two loops here on the end. You can just tie one over the other like that and splay it open and pop over the opposite side like that. The uh, tie-off bands at the back here again go through the back of the head. Grab those bands and pull them through and you can hide those at the back of the head. If you don't want them sticking out there, just tuck them inside. There's always that lovely space between the, the back of the head and the face. Um, using a blue Sharpie, you can draw her eyeballs on. Flip her flip top, her flip top bangs. So draw her eyeballs. I don't put mouths on my figures but uh, I do have in my tips and tricks video there is a video to show you how to put mouths on uh, I just prefer mine to not have them but you might prefer yours to have them so if you do uh, tips and tricks and it will show you how to do the types of mouths that I do so we're going to pop her to the side for a second and we will concentrate on her little standing skirt instead. Let me just pull this, her jewels. There we go, that's better. So the standing skirt, as I mentioned, you're going to have done this one, the three of the darker pink, the 13 of the lighter pink. And when you get to this point here, that's when we're gonna catch up. I've done my last row. I've taken everything off. I have tutorials how to on how to do this, okay? The only difficult bit now is the end bit. And these are these little bits here that we're going to put on the side of the dress. So we're going to take this off our loom, okay? And just gently go around grabbing each of these loops. I tend to put my finger or thumb on the ones at the end so that they don't come off before their time. So there we go, I have them all collected here. Now, before I take two bands and add them all around, I need to add the little puffy bits on the side. And in order to do that, I need to make them. So, let's put your loom back together. And you don't need it to be in the offset configuration, it can just be in the standard configuration. We're going to use the dark pink, and we're going to put three pair up the top. There 
you're going to go from centre to the right. You're going to miss this one here completely. And then from the centre to the same spot but on the left. Now this next one you go from here to here, you're not even joining it to there. And you're putting an end cap on the bottom one. Like this. Let's do that again underneath. For our second one. From the centre. Oopsie. To the right. Centre. To the left, this pair here, and an end cap on the end. So, as we loop this up, I'm going to do it a bit differently. Dig down, grab that two bottom ones, and loop them to the right. You're going to take this one off, and as you take it off, you're going to go this side and you're going to twist it so that as you're putting it back on you're putting it on like that which means that this band here is not twisted it's at the bottom grab these two bands and loop up to the peg above it not to the corresponding peg but to the peg above it and then these just go to the pegs above each let's do that one more time so here you're going to dig down Grab this band and loop to the right. You see at the moment it's it's twisted. Actually, it really is twisted, but let's fix that. Take this one off from the left-hand side, and what was on the left now goes on the right, so that that is not twisted. If we did it the other way, that's twisted there, all right? So that's why I do it this way. This loops up to the peg above it to the peg above it and likewise with these to the pegs above now this is where, where the fancy footwork comes in let's take our first one off our loom okay and this is how it's going to, to be okay I'm going to take our little dress and what we're going to do is we miss a loop at the front and a loop at the back. Right, so this loop at the front we can miss. We don't need to do anything with that. What we're going to do to start with is take four pink bands, and this is our holding hook, okay? So take four pink bands, I'm going to put them on my holding hook here. I'm going to put two on and I'm going to have two on the hook. Drag these down so that they're in the middle, like that. Reclaim one over the other and tie in a slip knot. So, this is going to go on the end of our holding hook. Move this down a little bit. Now this is where we're going to do the fancy footwork. Each of these little loops is made up of two, okay? Each of these is made up of two. You're going to want to move just the first two loops onto this pair of bands that we've just looped, okay? Just two, all right? And you can, you can take that off if you want and just leave it like that. This next loop the next three loops, okay, need to have one of these either side of it. So the way this is going to be is it's going to be a loop from the dark pink, a loop from the light pink, a loop from the dark pink, okay, and it, it does get tricky. Okay, so what we're going to do, the first these two little loops here, we're going to sit them in front of the light pink. Still hold this, okay? You've got to hold that to make sure that none of those loops escape. Put those two bands that we tied onto the end of your holding hook. And you are now keeping this secure, okay? You're going to move those two over and these two over. 
next we need to put the other dark pink so we need to push these down okay take these dark pink loops off your holding hook and put it on your other hook and move the dark pink over and you can move the next dark pink over then take this off again hold this safely and pop on the end of your holding hook you're going to move the next two light pink and then you're going to move this over to your other hook again and move your next pair of dark pink and the next pair of dark pink and then put those tied off bands don't lose this one back on your holding hook to move your next pink move them back to your other holding hook so we're working with two hooks here and you're going to slide your next dark pink over and move back to your other hook at this stage you can move your next light pink pair over because we don't need to add anything here at this stage so we'll take our next little bustle off our loom and move that out of the way do you hate me yet? <laughs> straighten it all out and we're going to do much the same now you have your three loops They've got to go over. This is the tie off band here. There's the other end of it here. Take your tie off band off your holding hook. Put it on the hook with the bustle. You're going to take the first two loops over and then move the tie off band back to your holding hook. Move the two light pink over and then move your tie off band back to the hook with the bustle you can now move two sets of loops so that first set and now the first part of the second set move your tie off bands which are on the end of your hook keep these on there back to your holding hook and move the next light pink over Move the tie off bands back to the bustle hook. You take the next two loops up and over, and the next two loops up and over. Move the tie off bands back to your holding hook. Put it on. Salvage what I've just lost. There we go move your pink your light pink up and over take your tie off bands back to your last loops and move them over these are the ends of your tie off band you're going to grab both on the same hook take a single dark pink and tie a slip knot like that now we can pretty these out and you're going to need a spoon push the spoon in and we s sort of stretch these out to make sure that they're evenly spaced let's try and get that in there properly you need to have a pink with the darker pink next to it all the way around and there we go that's that side sometimes you just stretch it out you can see it so we've got the darker pink that's the knot darker pink darker pink and the lighter pink Stretch it out a bit. 
so that the tie off band is at the back because that's where it's going to be to poke her in grab the spoon slide the skirt through make sure you have your bands one way or the other it doesn't matter grab her little feet poke them in and pull her down as you pull her down her feet will pop out the end like this pull them down get the height of the dress right for you I'm going to push her feet up inside the skirt if you want her hands to be crossed you can use a little white band and just put it through those two tie off bands um, at the front here so you go through one end cap and the other draw a single band through and again you would have to uh, hide that by pulling it up one of the gloves or something but effectively that is Princess Peach and uh, I know the dress is a little fiddly if you don't want to do those little bustle bits that's completely up to you it's uh, an option I, I think it makes it look a little better but if you prefer not to have that that's completely up to you enjoy making her take care bye bye